Hey everybody, Sagan with U-Turn Permitted here. Today, we are going to do a little bit of learning and reviewing about these little washing machines. We just picked one up. It's out of the box already. We'll see how it works and if they're any good or if they're garbage. So, that's what we got going on today. If you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that like button, comment, share. We appreciate it. One more thing, we are at Bow Hill, um, Thousand Trails. We left with Connor. Sorry guys, I just got off work not that long ago. I'm still got pain all over me. And anyways, um, yeah, so I just wanted to say a couple things about Bow. It doesn't get near enough um, credit, I think, for a campground. Because you got Granny Creek, you got LaConnor and everything right here. They're all within, oh, I think. I mean, absolutely 20 miles of each other. So Bow Hill, nobody ever talks about it. You hear about LaConnor, Granite Creek's supposed to be a popular one where you can only book two weeks at a time or something. So, yeah. But Bow Hill is probably one of our favorites. Yeah, you don't got much sewer sites here, but you really don't have much sewer sites at uh, LaConnor. You don't have much sewer sites at Granite Creek. So we've been lucky to get them the few times that we've been at those but besides that you've only got a few each one um, but this one look at it we are closer to the freeway than we've ever been normally we don't hear the freeway noise but that's all right it don't bother us at all um, I mean they have the lodge the pool the mini golf big open fields that is it's a big campground it's bigger than the other two by far and I want to show you guys this is why I like it so much there we are. Let me show you this. I'll point this out real quick. So, all of this, that's probably as big as most of the campsites at LaConnor. Okay. And you're always right next to somebody, butted up and everything. Here at Bow Hill, there's the next campsite. Is right up there. Okay, over here to me. There's the next campsite down there. So you got privacy, I'll tell you. It has the most privacy out of any of the campgrounds. And like I said, normally I could fill up my whole RV right in here again. And then you put a car over here or whatever. And I do have room over here, but it's muddy and mucky. So I'm scooted over a little bit, but that's okay because look at this. Still got a big area right in here. See how you see your neighbors there? There they are. Not much, huh? They've got beautiful trails and whatnot, and trees here. But yeah, I mean, it's big enough where we got plenty of room here for our RV and plenty. Of room for everything. I mean, we've got our hot tub set up. So my work shirt is still on there because I just took it off. Didn't want to get paint on anything. But even back here, look, this is all still part of the same campsite. Isaiah's got his great big tent set up. So let me take you back here to this corner since I took you to the front one, and I'll show you. So there's what it is. I mean. These campsites here at Bow Hill, they're massive and they're private. See, there's our other, look at that tree, but there's the other neighbors. So, I don't get why Bow Hill's not more of a popular site. I mean, you're right by the Skagit because you know, literally right behind it. Um, you got the Speedway is right at the bottom of the hill. Actually, the sites on the hillside every Friday night when they do the Speedway, you can see the Speedway. Um, yeah, I don't get why Bow Hill's not more popular. Uh, it's a great campsite area and it is just beautiful. Let's get on with this washing machine thing, huh? That's it. Match your little wash tub. Mm 
the nature of the dry tub. Drain, gentle, normal, wash timer, wash lift, spins timer, it's got water inlets, this is your water outlet you would just put down and in the ground, our end of the thing, and yeah, that's pretty much it, we'll hook this up to a water line here, and we'll put some shirts in there, and we'll see how it does, huh guys? So when I get it shook up to a shower line or so. Okay. So you're just basically gonna fill that thing up. Turn on your water and fill that up. Turn it off right now. April got me a Ford, new red Ford shirt. We'll throw that one in there. She also got me a I Heart My Rottweiler. We'll throw that one in there. She also got me a Ford truck shirt. Ask me about my ninja disguise. You'll have to wait and see this one later. So that's four shirts. I've got shoved up in here. And see, that's four shirts. And that's quite a bit of room in there, actually, still. We're not going to go any more than that. That'll be our limit. Let's just fill this thing up like this, huh? No need to wait on that tube. Still quite a bit of room in there for having four t-shirts. I think you could actually do a couple days worth of laundry in there. It'll be better when it's actually hooked to a water line and you don't have to sit here and fill it up like this and everything like that. We're just gonna keep it in the bathtub, take the shower head, unscrew that, hook it to the water line and put the drain right down the tub. We actually mainly use the Thousand Trails shower. You get all the hot water you want and you don't have to fill your tanks, so. We just use the Thousand Trails, and if we're boondocking, we use the Planet Fitness, because we had a Planet Fitness membership. So, we're thinking of doing a YMCA this time around, instead of Planet Fitness, but we'll see. So, as you can see, I just filled it up so the water's just over top of it. And we'll go ahead and get this thing started, and... See how it does here, huh? I already plugged it in. I have a plug-in out here for my lats anyways. So, normal. And it stops itself if it's not level. I better rock. Well, maybe I should start washing. I don't want to pull this all off yet, just in case. I want to make sure everything works on it first, so we don't have to send it back. But I guess I can take my water line off now. That's set for about 15 minutes, so we'll let it. Spin and wash, we'll see what happens in 15 minutes from now. Also, if um, we're boondocking out in a national forest or anywhere like that, and you wonder about the showers because there's no um, Planet Fitnesses or we're not at Thousand Trails, we also have an outside shower bay that's got the faucets and turn on, you use whatever, if need be. And I also have two hanging the tree, sun heats up, solar showers. Those get pretty warm 
and they hold uh, three and a half gallons or something, so enough to do a quick shower. So. Yeah. I mean, there's that. So, like I said, it's just pointless to use our tank. If we took a shower and used our tank in the National Forest anyways, we would have to dump fairly soon because of our dishes and our everything else. Fills our gray water up quick anyways. We can usually get... Uh, here at a thousand trails we can usually get about four or five days before we have to go dump the gray tank um black tank so is okay but the gray tank fills up if we're really watching it and we're boondocking on the road we can get about seven days out of it so we wouldn't want to add a bunch more into it anyways i don't know guys we got about probably 12 more minutes and i'll cut back in and we'll show you this guy and see what it looks like all right guys well it's been about 15 minutes here so um i was actually just working on building a little platform so it can't rock around or anything we're gonna build a little bit so it sits up off the ground and has the drain going into the tub so yeah i was just doing that while i was going so it has done its thing it has been 15 minutes now drain I can see it bubbling down. You can see some water there. So it looks like it drained good. Some dirty water, so it looks like it did good. So I just set it to 15 and normal. And it just started. And then I, once it stopped, I'm going to drain. And then we're going to switch over. And put it in here and see how dry this thing will spin them, huh? Down in there. It's not going to be tremendously clean. They weren't tremendously dirty. I only wore them like one day each. But they're not going to be tremendously clean because, of, like I said, no soap or anything. Just water it out. Test this thing out. Let's see. I know you put less in the dryer. Looks like two shirts. Let's turn that on. How's it going? And I can see water. I know you guys can't. Oh. But I can see water coming out too. Going under there. I'm spinning in that thing. So that's good. Oh, so it stops it like that. Hmm. Like I said, it won't be a dry dry, but it'll be a spin dry. We have that little towel rack or whatever, so we'll just put them up out on there. It's getting close. Quiet though, huh? That thing's pretty quiet. Wash in. Dry that thing's pretty quiet, so I like that. All right, that's done. Still, not bad. Pretty dry, pretty dry. Take that inside, hang it up. Take that inside, hang it up. So you could probably wash, I'd say, eight to ten shirts. Um, or two days worth of clothes. Now the thing is with drying it, you're only gonna get to dry a few pairs of shirts or so at a time. That's as loud as it gets and it's lights up just like that. It's not bad. I think this will be pretty good on the road for a quick little wash or anything like that. Especially when we're hooked to somewhere like um, sewer and we just need a couple things or need something washed that's important. Or like uh, La Connor, their laundry room was down for the last like week we were there. So April was hand washing her work shirts to get to work. So um, yeah. This would have been handy for that. So little things like that. I think this is going to be a pretty handy little guy. Um, I have to keep you informed, let you know how well it does. And 
make sure everything keeps working properly on it and it works for a while but as I see it right now it's lightweight it's small enough to store away I would recommend it to people I think it's pretty cool I think it'll be pretty cool there it is it's just a temporary little stand it will have a little box to keep it from rattling around um, but it's not going to have wood legs because I don't want to get to the point if we need a dump of the water filling up and soaking in wood and that's just stinky or whatever but this will that's the water inlet is going to come down and it's going to connect below this shower head and I'm going to take this and permanently put it up with a hose clamp or something around it and then you just turn on one and it'll fill that tank up and then when you're ready to drain you drain and this will clip down into the toilet tumble and there you go I'm going to also continue this up higher so it won't get wet with boards and I'm gonna put our hamper next to it and then where this opens right up in here because you see all oh, that space because I took off the shower doors and stuff because we just don't use it um, I'm going to take and make some wood cabinets two big wood cabinets that'll sit in here for the kids blankets so they can put their pillows and their blankets and stuff when we're during the day into some big nice cabinets of their own because um, they've been keeping them in the shower anyways but they put them in big um, garbage bags so they don't get wet or anything and then they would just shut the door so this will work better they won't have to put them in bags they can just fold them up and put them in some drawers that'll be down below we'll have a spot to store and keep um, clean our laundry cleaners and whatnots and it'll be a pretty functional little guy so that's that once I get all cabinets and everything built I'll share with you guys more well guys I would say I recommend this washer so far it seems to wash pretty good spend a lot of dirt out for just having the water um, I'm sure it'll do great with that it dries them pretty good it's fast lightweight easy to move um, you wouldn't even have to have a permanent spot like we do you could just move it around it's so lightweight um, yeah so I would recommend it it's cheap enough too I think it was 140 bucks 129 bucks or something so yeah um, if you're looking for a little way to wash a few things I recommend doing it and I'll keep you posted down the road if we have any problems or anything I'll let you guys know all right guys till next time remember to smash that like leave a comment share and subscribe if you haven't this is Sagan with U-Turn Permitted have a good one I'm gonna eat